Hello everybody. Today is episode two of the Mongoose Elroy budget build. In today's video, I will be painting the frame as well as showing you the wheels and a couple other things that I've done for the project. As you can see, my bench is finally pretty cleaned up. That's because I'm actually done with the bike. It is completely built and basically finished. I will not be showing you it in this video, sorry. I have a little bit more footage to collect and that will be in part three. That was a mosquito. Also, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and also go check out our new Instagram page. I will be doing a few updates and I may even leak a couple photos of the completed bike early on that. So for now, here's episode two and I hope you enjoy. I'd love to hear some of your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to tell me what you think. Thanks. So I started with a matte black base coat. And the reason I did that is because I used a low grit sandpaper to start off with and it left some gouging. So I decided to do the base coat and then give it a light sanding and it actually seemed to smooth out a lot of it. I don't know if you can tell, um, but it, it's pretty smooth now, even though you can see the gouging. Hopefully, once I do the top coats, it should clean up quite a bit. So let's get this project started, because I'm very excited to start painting. As I had mentioned in episode one, the paint I'm using is by Montana Cans. I'm using the colors Black and Caribbean from their Metallic Effects line. So I got a little carried away and I got two spots where it streaked or the paint ran a little bit. So I'm gonna sand it down. 400 grit sandpaper and hopefully that should take care of it. I'm gonna wipe some of that residue down. It seemed to smooth it out pretty well. Some came off. Should be good. Should be back on track. This paint job's turning out really amazing. Got faded a little still. Couple more coats. It's looking good. I'm excited. All right, so I just finished painting the frame. It turned out really good. Uh, didn't have too many problems. I got a little bit of dripping on one part, had to sand it, wasn't a big deal. Turned out pretty good. Fading was a little trickier than I expected, but I think I got it to where I'm pretty happy with it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna start the glitter coat. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight, and then, yeah, we'll do the glitter and the clear coats. This thing never leaves me alone, I swear. There's still some deep gouging, kind of right in here from the sandpaper. I am gonna put a decal there, actually. I just realized that, so hopefully that won't be too noticeable. But everything else looks really good. Really happy with how it turned out. The only spot is there's a few little nicks right here. Maybe you can see them. Maybe I'll try and sand that tonight and just touch it up a little bit. But overall, it looks amazing. I'm so stoked on this project. For the next step, I decided to take the frame to work with me. 
I had a busy home schedule, but wanted to keep this project moving forward. To give the frame some extra flair, I went over the paint with Montana's glitter effect. It's basically a clear coat with glitter mixed in. If you're doing your own paint job and you want your frame to really stand out, I couldn't suggest this more. The results are absolutely amazing. I know you're not supposed to mix spray paint brands, but I wasn't really too happy with the Montana cans clear coat and varnish that I was getting. It just wasn't really the finish um, that I wanted. So I got some of this Rust-Oleum. I tested some of it, it turned out really good. So I'm gonna go use this as my final clear coat. So the wheels are here. Open these bad boys up, take a look. All right, so these wheels don't seem to be like really an upgrade to the bike. The biggest thing is I'll be able to fit the nine speed cassette on here. When I ordered them, they didn't really provide much information on the wheels. I did not know that they are Shimano center lock rotors, so that's some more money I'm gonna have to spend. Um, they are Shimano hubs, very cheap ones. They're unsealed, which unsealed on the stock wheels are unsealed. All right, the wheels are all built up. They look really, really nice. Tan walls look super cool. The rotors aren't on yet, but they should be here in a couple days. Cassette looks really nice. Tires look amazing. Pretty stoked. All right, this was super unnecessary of me, but I bought a new crank. It was 50 bucks. It's got an aluminum spindle. Build is pretty nice. Came with an external bottom bracket, so I figured it'd be a pretty nice upgrade for 50 bucks. But man, it just keeps adding up. In the next video, I will show you guys the completed project. I'm really excited about this one, so please don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out for it. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Should be a nice upgrade. What? And my face is red because I didn't feel it. I just feel Are you going to help me build my bike? You can. You try it and I don't hold it for you. No.